Here is a mysterious organ. It appears to have lobes and labials and connective tissue uh, surrounding little glandular areas. Uh, that makes it a classical exocrine uh, type of uh, gland, doesn't it? In fact, this is a pancreas. Here are the acini. This whole thing could be considered a labial. And here's some connective tissue between the labials. And as you know, uh, the pancreas is a classical exocrine gland, but it is also an endocrine gland. Now, what is this? This looks like a fairly well-defined focus of what looks like predominantly fibrous tissue. This used to be an islet of Langerhans. It probably still is, but now it is what we called hyalinized. It no longer has a cellular uh, differentiation. It is basically all scar tissue. These islets have been damaged. They could have been damaged due to toxins. They could have been damaged due to autoimmune disease. Uh, these are hyalinized, or if you want to call them sclerosed, like we did in the kidney, we called the glomeruli hyalinized or sclerosed. You call these hyalinized islets of Langerhans. Uh, what disease do you think this patient might have because all of these islets are hyalinized? Yes, you guessed it, diabetes. Thank you very much.